to uncover. Be careful out there, girl. System okay. ready. I'll travel fast. I'll get those answers. Echo. Awaiting request, master. I need an aircraft. Affirmative. A fast one. Command acknowledged. Scanning. One that'll slip through any interference and turbulence. Export the fast. The Marauder. Hypersonic jetpack. Affirmative. Upgrade in progress. Command. Acknowledged. Selecting vehicle. System ready. Initializing. And prepare yourself for war. Affirmative. Command acknowledged. Seems we've been set up and this goes high up. Initializing. We're gonna find some answers. We're gonna get some answers. Even if we have to beat down Governor Skyrunner herself. Time for talk is over. Alert system I'm heading out. I'll do what I've got to do now. I'm thinking of shooting first and asking questions later. What's that supposed to mean? Newt, what are you doing? We don't need a gun? When we land, follow my lead. Don't make any noise. Follow my lead. Stay quiet. And stay on scene, Vera. Got that? Is that what Arturo said? Do you got that? Okay. I got it. Good. Echo. Interface with the colony mainframe. Hack all their doors. I want open access to this place. Command acknowledged. Interfacing with colony mainframe. Security barrier in place. Access denied. Request denied. Damn, it's locked down. I need a night scope. For what? The sea better, of course, Vera. You're not planning to do something reckless, are you? I don't like irony. I don't like coincidences. And I don't like conspiracies. I will come back. Alive. Hostiles detected. Hang on. This could get rough. Come on, Newt. Let's go. Skyrunner's who we have to talk to. She knows what's going on here. We have to get some answers from her. Don't even breathe. Who the hell are you? Well, hello, boys. Nothing to say. I don't know if I should talk to you. You're an Earthling. How would we know you're not here to screw us over? <laughs> so the aliens can get us. So you know about the aliens? Well, in that case, that's exactly what we're here to do. We're here to take all your fancy stuff, screw you over, and leave you at the mercy of the aliens. How does that get you? You trying to be funny? You're the one who brought it up. You know, I think we can take you. I think you might want to try, but I think you're going to regret it. Is that so? We got a tough one here. You're about to find out how tough. Step across that line. We're here to see Governor Skyrunner. You should run along with your friend, little girl. I'm gonna be you right in the nuts. What did you just say? I'll only say it once. Next thing I'll do is I'll show you what I mean. Back off. Well, I guess that settles it. We're not on their friends list. Are you saying this is some kind of peace mission? To make us martyrs to the people back home so that they can feel good about themselves and justify their existence? Our mission here is to survive in the face of adversity. Together. We knew about the aliens on this planet, yes. That is correct. We 
knew if we can somehow focus mankind's hatred and animosity towards a third party, then our species could be saved before we finished ourselves off. Come again? Is that why you're all out here all to yourselves? And Earth's colonists are left to fend for themselves? So, this mission was to bring our hate and our problems to somebody else and use them as a scapegoat? You have no plans of any peaceful ending with these aliens. You intend to wipe them out. And use us as the ploy to do it. It's alright. You disgust me. Listen. There. We're not here for martyrdom. The aliens on this planet are primitive. We figured out a way to deal with them if we work together. You're mad. They are heavily armed and they outnumber us ten to one. I'm very pessimistic about the overall outlook of this. You're kidding me. Have we learned nothing from Earth's own history? What Earth did to its own natives? What civilization did to the, its natives? Wiping them out from the Americas? From the Caribbeans? From Africa? From South America? The Incas? We've learned nothing? We've brought it here? And that's your ingenious plan? Oh, I see. You have learned from our past. Learned how to use it to your own advantage. Do you know that they have giant robots that shoot lasers and missiles? Yes, of course we do. You're mad. If this was a unified mission, then why were we split up by planetary nationalities if we're supposed to be united? Mm, well, hmm. I can answer that one. Earthling. Simply put, the majority of us voted that we didn't want to be grouped with you. Isn't that right, Governor? I'd never took you for an honorless, backstabbing fool, Hun Su. On the contrary, ma'am. I'm doing all of us a favor. What the hell is going on here? This doesn't concern you, Earth scum. Now, if you have no further business here, you know the way out. Isn't that right, Governor? Well, I do have business with them. So, leave us be. You're still in charge here, after all. <laughs> As you wish, madam. Come along, boys. Let the governor continue with her business. I smell a pot burning. What the hell was that about? It looks like somebody staged a coup. Isn't that supposed to be your assistant, governor? He was. Turns out he's actually in the pocket of the Martian military. I was careless with that one. He leaked everything to them. And now there's a fleet coming soon. I truly am sorry about how all of this turned out. I'm sorry. Did you just say a bloody fleet is coming? It'll be years before the next colony ships get here. And a military fleet is coming? Why don't you just throw him in the stockade? Maybe that's what you would do on Earth. But Martian society is a bit more democratic than that. Democratic enough to send a military fleet while you hide behind your civilities. Whoa, 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 hold on there. There's a Martian fleet coming? Well, if that just don't beat all. Not that that matters, but it seems that you guys are over here gearing up for war. Your camp is heavily guarded. You have all the information, and you've passed it around to your own people, but you still manage to keep it from the Earthlings. you segregated yourselves here and left us out in the dark so we would get slaughtered and then everything would be justified will be the necessary casualties and now you have a coup in your own camp 
marvelous. How is it that you became leader anyways? A quick look here at some of the ISOs available on isoplanetexplorers.com. And of course, I didn't touch this, but uh, you can farm in your colony. Nice shield for those who use sword and shield. I'm a gunman myself. Well, Newt had a, I can't say a good night's sleep, a night's sleep. Now she's out saying her mornings and her niceties. Vera, how'd you sleep? Well, not too bad. I see that we're being watched first thing in the morning. See ya. Excuse me, Nanda. Oh, what is it, Newt? I was interested in that aluminum armor. I'd like to purchase it from you. Of course. Now Newt has the aluminum armor. That's the guy you get it from. I've seen pictures of it. it looks kind of like a Laura Croft kind of setup. From Tomb Raider Underworld. Now to build it. Ingredients are simple. Animal skin, plant fiber, and aluminum. So while she builds that, let's take a look at some more things that are also available. Now that you can export buildings and upload them to Planet Explorers uh, on, the, on the net, there's so many things you can do. And so many more things to download. Radio towers. For those who are able to save their base complexes, congratulations. This is the aluminum suit. This is what it'll look like. I intend to give this ride a try. This one was built by Pestaga for his daughter. It's called the Lily. This is it in adventure mode. There are different versions of the Lily. Go over and check them out. Here. What's new? Did you get anywhere talking to Skyrunner this morning? No. Every time we start talking, they start listening. See ya. Governor. What's your plans now? Well, we just need to survive for now. I wasn't expecting us to deviate this far off our original plans. We were supposed to land on the Newton continent, you know. But now that's just a lost cause. Governor, me, Vera, Arturo wants us to head for the Newton continents once we find all of the survivors around these parts. Yes, that is good, Vera, that is good. But I don't think we're going anywhere for a while. At least in the meanwhile, we can do other things. I'm trying to come up with something to take advantage of the situation. If we only had our documentarians around... Documentarians? What, to document your greatness? Or the Great Fall? You are very pessimistic, my dear. No, I believe you Martians call it realism. Do I sense aggression from you? Maybe you do. Maybe it's frustration. Maybe it's an overwhelming urge to slap somebody. No matter what it is, Governor. You're a funny one, aren't you? Yes, I might be funny, but it's a serious situation at hand. 
Han Su. How do you intend to deal with him and his supporters? Well, Newt, the way I see it, if you try to win over the hearts and minds of the Martian people, we might have a chance to move beyond our current situation. Tell Arturo, for me, that I'm interested in building a road between the two colonies as a trust exercise. We'll also tell the people that they are free to travel between our two settlements as they wish, as if it's okay with your end. A trust exercise. I guess I should ask, are you coming to the Earth Camp? Oh no, my dear, oh no. There needs to be a voice of reason here. I will stay on. If you intend to stay here, how much power do you still have, Governor? Right to the point, aren't you? Well, not a lot. Han Su has most of the colonists in his corner. I have a few on my side. But let me be clear, though. The people are not your enemy. It will take time to build trust. Please remember that. Hmm. All right. Honestly, though, I think this entire mission is stupid. From beginning to end, stupid. The situation right after the war was very bad. And we were trying to be creative in building bridges between the two planets. Some people argued that we should send Earth citizens to one system and Mars citizens to another. Looking back, that might not have been such a bad idea. Still, what's done is done and we're here now. So no time for regrets. People are going to die, Governor. It's going to be plenty time for regrets. And what about the truth? Your people know what it is, and Earth's people don't. If this is a trust exercise, truth must be told. And then, of course, the truth about the natives. To tell you the truth, the data we had didn't show the, the aliens with these kinds of capabilities. It might have been just a bad sampling, or just bad luck. But our situation is not good. I've heard you saved some of our colonists. I thank you for that. I'm sorry to hear that there were others that were killed. I am truly afraid for us. You mentioned that Peter was trying to build a translator to work to translate the alien language. Hopefully this will aid in avoiding further hostilities. Let's hope so. But there's a lot of people running around here with a gun-ho attitude. And they will shoot first. And ask questions never. I'm going for a walk, my dear. I have to see to my people. Good day, Governor. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Our honored guest. Well, assistant to the governor, Mr. Han Su Rong. Yes, yes. Should we dispense with the formalities, Earthling? Yes, let us dispense with the formalities. I guess you want a piece of me. So, why is it you dislike me so much? <laughs> I wonder. So are we enemies then? You tell me! Alright. A different topic. What exactly are you and the Martian fleet up to? I am simply taking care of my people! Is that so? Then when does the Martian fleet get here? And why should I tell you? Well, I... I guess we're not friends then. If you say so! Earthling! It really seems that you want peace of me. You want to have a go? You cannot win, so back away, or I'll drop you where you stand. You know, I've dropped bigger prey than you since I've been here. I think it's you don't know who doesn't have a chance. One day, you and I are going to have a long conversation, for the better or for the worst, Mr. Hansu. And on that day, 
If it is for the worst, know this. I will be the last beautiful face you will ever see. The last beautiful thing you will ever touch. And you will know death sent me. And you can tell the devil I said hi when you get to where I'm sending you. Have a good day, Mr. Hansu. When you are ready, earth scum, I will be ready for you. You better got an army. Because I'm the giant slayer. I just came from killing titans. You're no titan. Hold up, Earthling. Where are you off to? I'm just going to speak to the governor. Is that a fact? Let her pass, Adrian. Let her approach. Step aside, Adrian. As you wish, ma'am. This is a peace mission, remember? We must be courteous to our guest. Governor, good morning again. A moment of your time, please. Ah, oh, the little salamander, out for a walk. Don't call me that again. Seriously. Oh, so serious. It's been a hard life and a hard couple of months. I think I'm losing track of time and my age. I think this planet is aging me rapidly. Now we need to talk, Governor. Just briefly. Begin then. I need to know what you know about the Epiphany. Has there been any word? Were you able to contact her? The ship probably survived the crash. I remember someone telling me that it can take a few torpedoes and still come out to be shipshape. If we can somehow get in contact with her and the governors that are on board her, hmm, we might be able to straighten the people out here as well. Then again, maybe the other governors are having the same experiences and difficulties that we are having here. Yeah. Now who's the pessimist? All right. But a good point, nonetheless. I asked a question last night, and you didn't answer me. And I'm going to ask you again. How exactly did you become governor? Governor Skyrunner? I was on the Intersolar Space Commission as one of the directors. So, it was only natural to be selected as the Mars governing representative for this mission by President Blanc. That's the official line, anyway. Personally, I think it's just a way to get rid of a moderate. Newt, dear, I notice that you always are carrying your weapon in camp. As part of a trust between us, maybe you should leave it in one of the barracks. I'm sorry, Governor. My gun goes with me wherever I go. Not that that would make a difference. If you consider with the replicator, I can replicate another one anywhere, anytime. Good point. At least I'm keeping it where you can see it. That is my honor. Good day, Governor. Good day. Deliver my message to Artaro, please. I'll be sure to do that. I hope that means that you will not linger here, Earthling. I really, really hate that guy. <sighs> Hello, Sarah. <laughs> well, looks like you guys are all set up and living large. Epiphany or not. I hope we get to the Epiphany soon. I was wondering, did any of you ever think to come back and tell somebody else, like the Earth Camp, that you were going on here? You don't have to say a word. See ya.
I get to play messenger to diplomats. Hmm. Should I be honored? Snooping around, Earth Girl? Of course. Just taking a look at your fine establishment. You got it just like home. So it's the last look here at their storage container. They've only got one. You can have at least two or three within your camp to feed your colonist and to store your equipment, giving you more inventory space. This plant in front of me here will give you plant fiber. When you start to build your colony, you can farm all these different things. There's no way in hell that we're going to tell him about his sister. Alfonso Hook can go to hell. You can go to hell! You can go to hell and you can die! Yeah. What was that? Uh, South Park, Mr. Garrison. Yeah. Now you saw that I just bought, um... A diamond sword and a diamond shield. Now, they don't have diamond in the game yet, but in case you use it as a building material, when you created an ISO, go to Alfonso Hook and buy it from him. Then, when you have your colony, put the sword and the shield inside of the recycle machine, break it down and get diamond, and then build your own ISO. Vera. I'm leaving. I'm heading back to Arturo. I'm going to deliver the message there and stop by uh, our new Earth settlement, which, nicely is put, is right on the other side of those trees. Okay, Newt. I'll stay here. See you around. Got nothing to say to Tariq. Now, a quick look here at the new Hunter Bike, the version 2. Now, what the creator has done is that he's shortened the wheelbase um, by comments that were made uh, when he was watching the bike being used on one of my videos. He shortened the wheelbase to make it handle better and to go over the terrain, increasing its mobility and uh, agility. But he's gone and done something totally spectacular here as well and put custom rims on it. Custom rims. I never even thought of that. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You get the two thumbs up and the hats off salute from the Marauder in the Mad Mad Labs. That is brilliant. Let's look at exporting a vehicle and heading off to Newt's colony. Hey there, I'm heading out. I won't be seeing you for a little while, but I'll be back. Okay. Don't tell them anything you don't want them to know. And don't tell them anything that they can use against us, okay? Alright. Good luck and stay safe. You too, Newt. Happy hunting. I'm heading out, Governor. Okay. Come again!
don't let the song fool you. It's not over. Echo. Export select vehicle. Flat a course back to colony. Command acknowledged. Well, Newt has checked into the colony, put some fuel in the generators, recycled what she needed to recycle, and moved out. Now, flying in the Marauder hypersonic jet seat, she makes her way through the trees. Thought I would be able to pass through there, but we got a little invisible blockage. Skyrunner is set about building a road from the Mars settlement to the Earth settlement. So I guess you're the one building the Earth settlement. And the road will go from your camp to theirs. Hey, Newt, you're back! Where's Vera? She's still at the Martian settlement. Okay, I need to talk to you guys. Anjan, you're beautiful. Those lights came in handy. I told you, Mon Chiri. I told you! Anjan is the man. Arturo, 
Vera is staying at the camp, continuing uh, peace talks and negotiations. Uh, the governor said that she would like to build a, a, a road, a peace highway, from the Earth camp to the Mars camp, and have the people travel back and forth freely between them, without restrictions, if it's okay with you. Okay, I'm sure we can give that a try. Now, listen up, Newt. While you were away, I came across a, a beacon going off to the north. So there's some interference there. But we think, we think there's other survivors. Do you mind looking into it? It seems that our individual identification beacons can now be picked up. So first thing that we need to do is spread out and go and look for all and any other survivors. We still don't know how many escaped the boat before she landed on the other continent. So, time is of the essence. But we can't take any chances. So, we don't want any of our people to fall into native hands. So what's your plan then? The beacons are relatively short range. So, they'll only show up within a couple kilometers of you. You have wheels. You can travel fast. You have air power. You can travel high and spread out and cover a lot of ground. You see Anjim over there? He found our signals when he came looking for us. He landed a bit out towards the rainforest. According to him, there are still people around his lifeboat. Let's set up with three expeditions into the rainforest and the mountains in the surrounding areas and see if we can pick up on anyone else. Are you up to it? What I'll do is I'll mark the three points on your map, including where Angel came from. See if you can find anyone around there. Hopefully, everyone will be safe and sound. Be very careful though. We're going into unknown territory. We don't know if there are any natives up there, if any will show up. So take this with you, and good luck. Thanks. I'll set out when I can. I have to go and look for Dr. Carter, and the others as well. And I have to return to Ava and Peter. But I'll get on it. Good girl. And with that, you gain the mission called Going North. Looking for three different survivor camps towards the north. The only problem with that, in this build, you cannot go north. It'll appear on the map, but it'll be out of range because of the invisible wall. So we will abandon, abort this quest, and uh, we'll play through on the 0.82 or 0.83 which you can go beyond the wall at that point, if I am correct, and see how things go there. But apart from that, this will be the end of this mission storyline. It's just off to Dr. Carter, do a couple uh, clean up runs for Newt here, and uh, this will draw to a close. We can't do anything with Art Arturo, we can't do anything with Anjim because of the invisible wall. So final clean up. He's now taken care of. I guess they're turning off the lights here. Leaving me in the dark. For anyone watching my videos who is playing on a demo or a, a later version of Planet Explorers, do not take this, these missions, the ones going up north. It screws everything up because you can't go up north. And, and one of the other versions, you couldn't abort it. But apart from that, so far we've had a pretty good uh, run here. We can cover everything and we did try to cover just about anything. I guess I should just mention, Newt's basic attack right now while carrying this gun is 770. You can take this weapon though and place it into the upgrade machine in your base camp. In so doing, you gain at least, I think with each time, around 300 extra attack points. In previous versions, I have upgraded a weapon, and the weapon was, uh, used to get at 800, and 
I upgraded it and it was hitting at over a thousand. So the stronger the weapon is to begin with when you upgrade it once it's powerful. Twice it's a murder machine. Three times tell everything in front of you kiss your their butt goodbye. So you can see where that goes. Now with the introduction of Planet Explorers 0 0.8, then 8.0.81, 0 0.82 now, and possibly an 8.3 coming out just this week, let me tell you one thing today is June the 30th. Hey, Gertie. What is it now? I just stopped by to say hi before I head out. Be careful. Chen? Not staying. Be careful. Hey, Alan. Um, Get hurt or something. Run along now. That's Dr. Carter to you? Yes, sir. When the settlement is ready, I'll call you guys. Richard, you take take care of these guys, huh? And Stanley, watch each other's back. I'll come back for you. I promise. I will come back. Alive. This video should have gone on a good while ago, but things got a bit hectic. But, let me tell you, I uh, hear the update will bring the ability of many different things, but you will lose abilities as well. Hey guys, check out what I got. It's a scuba mask. That will come in very handy. Indeed it will. Uh-huh. Well, um, that's not gonna, gonna stick around. Pose for some pictures. I'm gonna head on out stuff to do. All right. Echo, export aircraft. Command acknowledged. The Vulture, Raptor. Select Going, taking on your vehicles system. underwater. Ready. The vehicles will lose power. For that, you have to invest in a submarine. And yes, I said submarine. So you can have a sub for underwater use. You won't be taking your flying vehicles or your driving vehicles underwater. They will lose power and then cease to function. Hey guys. And I guess you'll have to retrieve it. Just so that you know. For uh, surface water expeditions, make yourself a boat. And like I said, with Skyrunner's new plan to build a road between the two settlements, Planet Explorer 0 0.8 intro introduces the monorail. Creators and builders, knock yourselves out and have fun. Check out the ISOs on isoplanetexplorers.com. Buildings will be able to be saved as an ISO as well. So you won't have to worry too much about um, your colonies now not being able to be used from one build to the next. Thus, that's why I waited. And yet still, I still went and built a not too bad looking colony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least I got screenshots and a couple of videos that I can always look back on. So, with that said, taking a nice little leisurely flight and enjoying some of the sights of Planet Maria. If you've liked what you've seen, please give a like and feel free to share this video and subscribe. Tell a friend. Thank you. This is The Marauder, thanking all of my subscribers so far and my viewers. The Builders and the Modders. I'm out. Well, this is The Marauder. With Plant Explorers 7.6. Alpha, the Steam Edition. News Journeys. I'm out. Special thanks to IncomeTech.com for the royalty free music. Be careful. Be careful out there. Did you get hurt or something? Run along now. Don't die out there. Good luck. You might really need it. I'll go with Alfonso to the settlement.
I agree with him that we Martians and Europeans need to be separated from him. If we all live together, there'll be too much tension for the Even though I have a hard time trusting him.